The organized stylist is a local interior design firm that's taking home editing to the next level. Founder and lead designer Sinem D'Angelo joins us now with some interior design tips and tricks. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. I, I'm excited yeah. because I can use a lot of these tips myself. And I think the biggest one is organize, organize, organize. For sure. So if we really take a step back and think about it, decluttering and organizing, really, we're cleaning, yes. right? Mm. So the more often you apply these tips and tricks that I'm going to provide you, the less of a larger job you have to do at a later time. Okay, mm. all right, so let's get started. So your first tip is, I think, approach yeah. your decluttering projects based on priority. 100%. So I'm sure there are several projects throughout the house that you want to complete, mm -hmm. but let's be realistic. We're not going to be able to tackle all of them at once. Mm -hmm. The decluttering and the organizing process, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Mm. Okay. So take a step back, take a picture of your spaces, and prioritize your projects. Okay, we're looking at some photos here. Oh my gosh, these are great before and after. So our clients, Denise and Andrew, you know, the heart of their home is the family room. Mm -hmm. And their boys love sports, the school uh, supplies, the backpacks uh, and papers. Yes. There was nowhere for that stuff to live. Mm. So by really taking a step back, prioritizing that space, is that, that the armoire, same space? It is. Wow. By using that armoire and incorporating it into that space, we created order and clarity for them. Oh, so holy all of them, moly. It feels so, so airy. Like yes. you can breathe in there. So all of the sports gear and the kids' school supplies and backpacks are concealed behind those cabinet doors. Mm, love it, love it. Okay, now another tip that you have is using the box method. And please tell me this is something you can use whether you're in a small space like me or in a larger home like Tanya. A hundred percent. And you don't have boxes, you can use bags. Okay. So I want you to follow and use these four categories. You're going to toss, mm -hmm. keep, relocate, okay. and donate. Okay. So when you go through your items, I really want you to ask yourself, does this item serve me? Yes. Does it really fulfill the needs that uh -huh. I need it to? Okay. Second thing you have to ask yourself, is it something that I would buy again? Oh. And that's when a good one. in doubt, throw it out. Uh, okay. Oh. Yeah. But then yeah. I think I might need, need it later. later. Yeah. Yeah. So you have a, or a sentimental value. You know what? Oh, that's another tip later on. Okay. I love that. So, yes. So, really, you really have to hold yourself accountable at this stage, mm. okay. right? This you is a really hard one. do. When mm -hmm. in doubt, throw it out. Okay. Mm. All right. How about space planning? Space planning, huge component mm -hmm. to our interior design business, but it needs to be applied and focused to decluttering and organizing. Okay. When you're done decluttering, you Ooh, are kept with all the that. items that you're going to keep, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So this is like a kid's room. Mm -hmm. Our clients wanted us to redo the kid's room. Okay. Space planning was huge here. So basically, space planning is making sure you use efficient space, mm -hmm. uh, make use of the space efficiently. You want to maximize Whoa. it to its full potential. Look at that after. So yeah, I want you guys to measure your space when you're done decluttering so that all the pieces that you're going to keep and organize have a home. But what if you have like, I have a one bedroom like it's, condo. What do I do with that? We're going to maximize every wall. Oh, key. gosh. <laughs> and create <sighs> storage solutions that can go on the wall and conceal your belongings. Okay, right now I'm just putting hooks on I've just put hooks on it every wall and I'm hooking things. Oh, yeah, but see, but then doesn't that drive you crazy? Because yeah. you can see the clutter. It's exposed. Uh, just, uh, okay, so you got to hide it. Yeah. 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 All right, and not all objects are clutter, you say? Yes. They are not. There are some sentimental pieces that I'm sure hold really great value to you. Yes. So let's turn clutter into something meaningful and decorative. Mm. So a perfect example mm -hmm. is um, my clients showed me these teacups that they really wanted incorporated oh, in no. their living room design. Mm -hmm. And there they are. Look at how darling oh, this is. It's art. They were literally collecting dust on a shelf and look like clutter. But we turned it into something purposeful by making and creating a home for the teacups. Oh, okay. So instead of clutter, it really truly becomes wow. a decorative object. Oh, it's part it. of the little coffee table it there. It sure is. I mean, you yeah. You encased it and all and yeah, made it so like a See, yeah, it has a little home, okay. and it serves its purpose now. Yeah. Okay, so what is this not getting caught up with titles and labels? You know, <laughs> I, yes, tell us. I know. <laughs> so, listen, we're influenced by so much around us, yeah. right? And if something is marketed, like let's say you're shopping for a wardrobe yeah. for your mudroom, uh -huh. and you find that specific wardrobe, but it's being marketed and oh. titled and labeled as a bedroom wardrobe, I don't want you to get stuck on that title. Oh. It's okay for you to think outside the box and 
put it somewhere else. Yeah, create organizing solutions that in the end really work for you. Oh, okay. this is fantastic. Your website's up there on the screen, theorganizedstylist.com. I need some great tips yeah, in them. I mean, oh, thank you so much. I mean, I, 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 I'm mind blown by yes. the before and after picture. Oh, yeah. thank That's you so when, much, when, when the real world mm. work had, had happened right. there. <laughs> Sanem, thank you so much for thank joining you, us. Yeah, it got me thinking here. Yeah. My, my brain's going, the wheels are kind of like starting to spin now. I got some ideas here. I wanted to All right, do that thank for you. you. Thank you.